I'm joined now by a former New Jersey Congressman, Mike Ferguson, who has aligned directly to Trump Tower. Politico today, in fact, <laughs> dubbed him the Trump Whisperer, and it goes deeper than that. Congressman Ferguson, first of all, good to see you. Good to see you. Um, uh, is it happenstance? You were with Mike Pence, or you were at you were golfing at a Trump? Fill me in on the story that got you in the middle of Pence world. One of Trump. One of Donald Trump's golf uh, clubs is in my old congressional district in New Jersey. I was up there a number of days ago. My friend Mike Pence was there that day. I got to chat with them both a little bit. It was when he was auditioning. And, uh, it was supposedly well, interviewing, or vetting, or I guess, going vetting, on. however you but, want to describe uh, it. But Mike is a very, a very good friend, and uh, so we were chatting a little bit. And mm -hmm. Donna wanted to know when we were going to play some golf, so we ended up playing some golf. So you were in that foursome. No, no, no. We played golf with them sometime later. They had just finished playing just, golf. So, so Trump was picking your brain about Pence because you've had a relationship with him going on. Right. All right, so walk us through it. A lot of us can picture Newt and Christie being somebody that hangs with Trump. And even though they can butt heads, you could picture them. Pence and him seem like two different personalities. Why do you think this fit will work? Well, they, they all have strengths, first of all. And I think that's one of the reasons why I ended up having these conversations with, with Donald Trump, because, I mean, uh, Chris Christie is a very dear friend of mine. I've supported him when he ran for president. Mm -hmm. um, Mike Pence and I, of course, served together. I don't know Newt Gingrich as well. He left uh, Congress before You got, got in right there. after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, I've known him over the years, of course. And, uh, and they all have... to serve in Congress without seeing Newt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, hangs yeah, around. Yeah, no. right. um, but, you know, they all have strengths. They all have incredible uh, skills and talents. That's why they've been successful in the different areas that they've served. Um, but they're very different. Uh, so, you know, had some interesting conversations about the differences between them and what their strengths are. What, what did you tell him the strengths were for Pence as a governing partner? Well, I mean, I'm not going to get into specifics sure. about uh, conversations we had, but anybody who knows Mike Pence knows uh, he, is, uh, he is a thoughtful, um, uh, considerate, uh, humble guy. Uh, he's been very, very successful. He's had a very successful career in the House. He was an elected governor of his state. Um, he's, uh, he's had an ability to really connect with uh, the base of the party and the mainstream of the Republican Party in different ways. Yeah. Uh, on fiscal issues, on foreign policy issues, on social issues. He's, he really is sort of the full package. When you think about somebody who uh, maybe has the ability of kind of reuniting that old sort of Reagan coalition and the Republican Party of conservatives of different kinds, Mike Pence does a lot to appeal to all of those folks. But I, I'll tell you, my first encounters with Mike Pence was as a club for growth kind of guy, mm -hmm. okay? And the club for growth and Donald Trump, when it comes to fiscal policy, couldn't be farther apart. Right. So how does, how does Donald Trump square that, or how does Mike Pence square that? with Trump, particularly on the issue of, say, trade? Well, I think uh, one of the issues, I think, that, uh, and one of the qualities, I think, that it makes Mike, Mike Pence so attractive to anybody who gets to know him mm -hmm. is the fact that he's not only um, thoughtful and calm and uh, really thinks through things, but he's also very loyal. Uh, he is somebody who, um, uh, you know, if he has a disagreement with you, he wants to work it out. He's a consensus builder. He wants to try to bring people together. He has strongly held positions. He's a principled guy, but he's not a bomb thrower. He's not somebody who's going to try and pick a fight with you in public. If, if, if you have a difference with him, yeah. he wants to try and work out a solution. It is interesting to me. Here's somebody on one hand who some people wanted to paint as a total ideologue. On the other hand, was successful in leadership, and usually the two don't go together. Right. What is it? How has he not been tagged as a conservative sellout well, over the years, but, you know, for quote unquote, you know, serving in leadership? Well, he's he's done both of the things that you've just described here. He ran. He was chairman of the RSC, the Republican Study Committee, the group of Republican uh, conservatives. And some would in, say in the part House. of the, what, what, what the Freedom Caucus Pre is. Precursor, today. precursor, perhaps to the. Uh, yes, to, the study group still Caucus. exists. I don't want right, to say they're right, no. right, right. But Mike Pence was elected the chairman of the Republican Study Committee. Um, so he served in that capacity. He was also uh, elected as a member of the Republican leadership of the entire Republican co uh, conference. So he served as our conference chairman. So he's a guy who um, is very skilled in that sense. He has the ability to listen. Mm -hmm. He has the ability to bring people together. Uh, everyone knows, anyone who deals with Mike Pence knows he's principled. Um, and he, he knows what he believes in. But he also is somebody who wants to find solutions to try and bring people together. And you think he'll be a comfortable number two? When you're an executive, it's tough to then suddenly say, yep. I'll be the number two now. If, if, he, if he's the one who's selected, and there are many reports out that, that uh, he seems to be the pick, um, I think he would serve a, uh, the Trump ticket very, very well. I think he's, he's smart. He's capable. He's well thought of on both sides of the aisle. Even people who disagree with him recognize that he's an honest broker, mm -hmm. and he's someone who is open and wants to listen and to try and find solutions. He's not a bomb thrower. He, he's, he wants to govern. He wants to lead. Mike Ferguson. Former Congressman from New Jersey, good to see you. Good to see you, too. The uh, Trump and Pence whispers. <laughs> we'll see.
Good. Thanks for coming. Thanks. Well, I